Hello and welcome. What I'd like to do in this video is to go through the subnetting process. Subnetting is something that many of us, me included, have had trouble grasping in the past. When I started subnetting, it took me an eternity to try to figure out what was going on. What I'm going to try to do here is to do a process that hopefully will make it easier. What I have here is an octet, any octet. This is going to be the octet that we're subnetting, the one that we're working on, because if we're subnetting a network, let's say something like 192.168.1.0 network, the only octet that we need to worry about is the one that we're actually subnetting. And if we're going to subnet, we're going to make take a network and make it smaller. And let's say that this one is 255. 255.255.0. Okay, so we have a network, and for some reason, we want to break it up into smaller components. What we have in the octet are basically three different things. We have the value, and the value is what we use for the binary to decimal conversion, so that if I had We'll do something really simple if we had a whole bunch of zeros here. One, zero, 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 zero. The value when we add these up would be 16. Everything's turned off except the 16 bit. So these go with 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128 is going to be the value. How much is this placeholder? Then we have the number of bits. When we do subnetting, we say that the number of hosts or networks, and we're going to work with hosts, is 2 to the n minus 2. We have to subtract the 2 here because we have the network address or the subnet ID. Subnet ID and then the broadcast address, which we can't assigned so we have 2 to the n minus 2 usable addresses these how many here are the 2 to the n so when how many we're going to have and we're going to we're going to call that our increment how many total addresses are in any number of bits and we have one two three four we have four bits and you notice that these are off by like one if we have four bits here, we have an increment of 16. If we have an increment of 16, increment of 16, then we have 14 assignable hosts. I G N A B L E. So if we wanted to break it up and have at least 14 hosts in each of our subnets, then we could use four host bits and, and draw a line so that you can separate the network the network portion from the host portion when we do these things and then when we when we do the number of bits when we add these things up 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 if we had all ones there for the subnet mask that's going to be our subnet mask we can either use and in this case we would do the 24 plus 4 forward slash 28 or we could do 192.224.240. Another little key here is if we use the 16, if we use 256 minus 16, the increment, 240 equals the mask. So we can find the subnet mask that way once we know the increment. We get the increment by knowing how many hosts that we want on each of our networks. Oh, let's go ahead and go through one. Let me get rid of, try to get rid of all of the ink that's here. So we'll, we'll erase all of this stuff. And let's say that we'll go back to our, I'll try to write a little better, 192.168.1.0 network. And let's say that we want to have hosts, let's say we want to have at least 50 hosts on each network. 
So if we want at least 50 hosts on net, each network, we're going to how many here? We go into our increment line. And we go over here and say we have to have 64 because whatever you do, you can't go in here and say, oh, I want 50. It's got to be a power of 2. So it's got to be 2 to the n, 2 to a, an integer number is going to break these things up. So we want 64 of these. And so when we start, the first network is going to be 0. Increment 64. 64 plus 64 is going to be 128. And then 128 plus 64 is going to be 192. And if we add that, it's going to be 256, which gets us to the end. So we have four subnets in this with at least 62 because our increment is 64. So 64 minus 2 equals 62 valid hosts. So when we do that, and if we want to find, again, our subnet mask, it's going to be 256 minus 64. Sorry, somebody came through. So we got 256 minus 64. 6 minus 4 is 2. 9 and 6 is 15. 192. Which makes sense here if we add up these two numbers, which would be the 1, 1, and the, and the host bits, all zeros, when we do this thing. So the, the first network is going to be 192.168.1.0 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.192. The next network address will be 192.168.1.64. The next one will be dot .192. And the last one, well, that 064, 128. I missed that there, didn't I? Let's put the 128 in here. 192. So these are going to be our subnet IDs. Subnet ID when we do this. So... Let's do one more, and then I will wrap it up. This is a quick and easy way to do subnetting. You, you kind of need to understand what goes on with the binary, but to do those things, not a big deal. So we could take any, any, and I'm doing all of these in, in class C's in the last octet because it's a lot easier to do it there. You can do it with anything that you want. 192, 168. Let's do 2.0 network, and let's say that we want... 12 hosts, 12 hosts per network, 8 hosts per network, or per, per subnet. So we want 12, then we go here and look at our increment, how many, and we find out that we have to go with 16. So our subnet IDs are going to be 0, 16, right, 16, 32, 48, and you keep adding 16 until you get all the way up. 16, 8, 6, 14, 4, carry 1. 64, does that look right? 48, uh, do 12 would be 16. I think that's right. 8, 6, 14, 4, 1, 5, 6, and then 16. 6 and 4 is 10, I'll carry 1. 6 and 1, 7, 80. Does that look right? 80, and then we'll go with 96, and I'm going to quit because I'm going to run out of the ability to do math. So, and our subnet mask is going to be 256 minus our increment of 16, which is going to be 240. So, the network address is 0, 16, 32, on and on and on and on. The 192.168.2. Let's say 48. It's going to have a subnet mask of 255.255.255. Dot two four zero. So, with that quick and easy subnetting, the key is whether we got value or how many the number of bits, and then find our increment. The increment is used when we determine how many bits that we're going to have for how many hosts per subnet. 
Once we have that, we can find the subnet mask by subtracting the increment from 256. 256 minus the increment is the, is the mask. So with that, I'm going to quit now. We've done a couple of examples. Quick and easy subnetting. Uh, you can do all of these things. And the really cool thing about binary, I know I never shut up, is that all you have to do is be able to multiply by 2. So with the value, we're going to start with 1. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. When you add up value, uh, you, or what it's worth, you just add each of these bits, the ones that are turned on, that has a 1 in the, in the binary. So we had this, then it would be a 128. And the number of bits, how many of whatever do we want? If we want to have how many bits is it going to take to get 16 increment and the 16 increments 16 minus 2 we're going to have a maximum of 14 per subnet okay so hopefully you kind of get the idea of how this works but this this seems to be to me to be a quicker way to get subnetting particularly if you're doing a certification test to do it really quickly Write down the things that, that you're going to need, which is the basically the number of bits, the how many, and the value of each of these things when we do this. So with that, I hope this has been useful, and thank you for watching.